Hey guys, Buff Elgato here. I want to show you the fastest and easiest way to level up your jets in Battlefield 2042. So the best way to do it is to do it in solo mode. You can unlock all of your weapons for these vehicles in there. The hardest thing to do is to level up your Russian jet. I want to show you exactly oh, where to go serious. to level up your Russian and your American jet. So if you look at the jets, you're going to have a few options here. You're going to need 10 vehicle destroys for repair system, 20 for the air to ground missile, 30 for the radar missile, and then 60 for the 30 millimeter cannon. Once you get these leveled up, you're going to want the 30 millimeter cannon, the air to ground missile and repair. So I'm going to show you exactly where to go. So you go to solo, go to conquest. The reason why is because breakthrough the enemies rarely get any kind of flying vehicles if they do it's at the very end so it has to be conquest now for the american plane my favorite one is hourglass you can go to any map and you're going to be the americans there's only one map that you can be russian so go to hourglass get the american if you press up twice real fast you'll start to hover from here, destroy as many helicopters as you can, as many jets as you can, and once you get 20 kills, you'll be able to get your air-to-ground missiles, and it's just a cakewalk from there. The helicopters and planes, they spawn every two minutes on the enemy side. Destroy as many as you can, quickly switch over to air-to-ground missile, and destroy them. Uh, when you're hovering, it's just super easy for the American. Now for the Russian on Conquest, the only map that you can be Russian is on Orbital. On Breakthrough, there's like three maps, but you're not going to get any enemies flying in the air on Breakthrough. You need to go on Conquest, put it on Orbital, and pick the Russian jet. From here, do whatever you can. Shoot the jets, fly into them, anything you can until you get this air-to-ground missile. After 10 destroys, you'll get the repair system. Make sure you put that on because these Ospreys that fly in the air to cargo planes, they're very hard to shoot down with rockets. Uh, if the enemy bails out, you won't get a vehicle destroy. You need to really light them up with your machine gun, shoot them with a couple rockets, even ram them, and then repair yourself. Once you get the 20 kills or vehicle destroys you'll get the air to ground missile from there just fly back and forth and light anything up the helicopters spawn every once in a while those are two rockets they'll be destroyed the jeeps are also two rockets air to ground missiles everything else tanks and mavs things like that they're usually around three missiles but you still have your machine gun so if any helicopters or planes spawn in the air you can still shoot them and ram them once their health is down. But for the ground vehicles, just keep spraying, go back and forth. And the air to ground missiles lock on pretty far away. Where the uh, air to air rockets, they you have to be pretty close to something before they finally lock on. That's why it's so hard because by the time you lock on, you're almost passing them. But the air to ground rockets, they'll lock on from far off and just shoot like crazy with them don't have to worry about anybody throwing up any kind of thermal smoke anything like that and just keep doing this over and over and over until you get your 60 vehicle destroys remember it is not about the kills it's about vehicle destroys so conquest solo american any map except for orbital for the russians pick orbital uh, you see that I got 21 vehicle destroys in this one game. Guys, I hope this helped you. If you did, please hit like, please share. If you want to see more, please subscribe, and I'll see you in the next one.